Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Robbo, Stevie here with us in the studio. Uh, Shaka, of course, is homebound at the moment, not allowed out. So he's been, <laughs> he's been designing a new background, which is quite something, Shaka. I went, uh, take, take I went us for through. a walk today, Dad. Yeah, look at this. What is that? There's a, there's a Maserati right there. That's yes. just for Robbo. There you yeah, go. Not, is it a Maserati? I'm not sure it is a Maserati. Yeah, Maserati. I think it's a Jaguar. That's a Maserati. That is the Maserati. Oh, yeah. No, Beautiful. that's the Maserati. That's the, that's the one that I had. There's a rocket yeah. ship. No, no points for guessing what. The yeah, power maybe. rankings, Newcastle over Liverpool. There we go. I'm not sure what this. I'm not sure what this LM plus 10 equals GOAT is supposed to signify. I'm Beautiful. really not sure about that's that. Good. Then what's over your other shoulder, Shaq? What, what are the books that are there? What? <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> <laughs> how to fix the AC? Oh, keep it, <laughs> how to fix the AC? Fix the that's AC. that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't read that one yet. Yeah, Algorithms and a whole, a whole, a whole lot, a whole lot of other stuff. That Shelby no, but, cost a lot of didn't it? These, <laughs> these are the ones I haven't read. And what's the certificate? <laughs> what? Oh, that's the um, that's the Freedom of the City. That's the oh. company, Freedom of the City from the Come on. The only issue you yes. have, Shaq, is the way it's yes. set up. We can't really see the Trinidad flag. The one oh, with the it? scarf. I'll slide yeah. it over. Yeah, I'll slide exactly. it over next time, Yeah, Dad. needs sliding that? over. Stuart Robson, of course, has been all over America right. oh. for yeah. the last two weeks. What the adventure has done. Yeah. Where have you done your laundry, Robbo? What stage? Uh, I had to wait to come to the double tree in... Uh, <laughs> in uh, so you did it all last night? I did it all last night, as much as I could anyway. Wow. Just so I got clean clothes to go home in. What a treat for what everyone. What are you going to wear? Uh, two and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, two and a half weeks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I did, no, I tell you what, I did have a bit of laundry done in LA. Okay. The shirts. The okay, shirts the shirts were, shirts were done. done. Yeah, the shirts were done. Right. Uh, what's been the highlight of your trip around the US? What's been the best bit? The highlight of my trip, without doubt, was yes. when your wife yes. uh, decided to try and get a trolley off the uh, at the airport, a trolley yes. to, to have your bag. Yes. And I don't think she put the dime in, did she? So she, well, was, trying to, she was trying to yank it off and it was never, ever going to come off. <laughs> <laughs> he then had a round with her. Oh, I, I love oh. the way that my misery is <laughs> your high oh, I, oh, I, I love it. I loved every minute of it. And I couldn't... I, that is true. There is nothing better than seeing another couple argue yeah, it and it's, it's the way you went kids over there <laughs> wife over there I was just, keep away from each other I was just trying to kick as the kids were winding her up and there was yes exactly oh, I'm, oh, I was yeah. trying to very much um play how the long did it last? her mood yeah how long did the, the morning until the morning, I, the morning I, I let it be i let but, it be but the next night she said do you want to come out with us again she was asking me to go out with them so i can see another round <laughs> they oh, were no, out. That was, it was all sort of, that was the tournament of kings you missed the tournament oh of kings. oh good i love all my dirty laundry being there <laughs> makes it time what was the low point robert so the highlight was seeing in a row what was the low point? Uh, i think the low point was when i got to the las vegas hotel and they said there's no room for you yeah and they said your bookings for they tomorrow said, um, yeah and of all things they said the disney card is invalid <laughs> wow so yeah that didn't go down too no much. So two and a half hours later i got to my room and it wasn't made up it was still uh, a mess there was all sheets all over the place oh there was oh, wow. in and out bags full of food there oh, was did you uh, have a little rummage <laughs> what I left well having been to an announce for the first time on that trip yes uh, i did have a little rummage just, oh dear no oh no and what was the weirdest <laughs> thing you saw on your trip <laughs> the weirdest thing i saw on the trip um i'm not sure i saw too much that no? was weird oh a bloke walking towards me with a, what I thought was a plastic snake along the strip in yes. Las Vegas. Yes. And as he got closer and closer, I realised it wasn't, it wasn't, a, plastic. It wasn't plastic <laughs> and he was about to put it round my neck. And I did, I, that was the quickest I've moved, I think, in about 20 years. Wow. Yeah, wasn't wasn't happy with the snake being put around my neck. It was fun, Las Vegas trip. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I know you did. That was yeah. great yeah. fun. I enjoyed the games. I enjoyed the shows. Not the games. Yeah. <laughs> the games. The games. Well, that's what we were there for, what wasn't games? it? Work. No, it wasn't a holiday like he was on. Oh, I had a good time, Steve. It I know. Was fun. I know you did. Credit card bill. Wait, take advantage of these things, didn't you? Well, it was lovely. Aye. Really good. Mm. Stevie, if you're Arteta, would you keep faith in Gabriel Jesus to be your main man up top, despite his injury record, or would you be looking to replace him? He's always had an op, hasn't he? Aye. So he's out for a couple of weeks. Listen, I think the fact that he's having another op so soon after having the last one would make you sort of be on a bit of alert that right. this could be an ongoing problem. Or maybe it's an op, so, so he's ready to go. Well, that's a very positive attitude. Well, let's but be you positive. Can't, you, can't, you can't always be like that. You have to cover your bases. Oh. And 
So yeah, I would suggest, yeah, you should be on the lookout. And if something comes along that's comparable or better, then you try and get them in. For Shaka, what are your thoughts on Buffon retiring? Where does he rank amongst the all-time greats? Oh, you're asking the wrong one. Mm. It's, it's a sad, it's a Buffon. sad, sad day, Dan. It's oh, a okay. sad... You know, I've said many a time exactly what I think about Gigi Buffon. I, I think he's the best goalkeeper the game has, has ever seen. Bar none. I, I absolutely love Buffon. Um, and to go this long, what, 45? I think is, is a testament to, to how good he is. Let's keep in mind, he was, what, 35 million when, when he joined Juventus. I, I don't think any other goalkeeper had, had come close. I'd, I'd gone for maybe over 3 million at the time. So to be to, 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 for Juventus to pay, what, 10 times more than any other goalkeeper had, and nobody at the end of a career, nobody questioned that price. It was worth every penny. It, it says exactly how, how good a, a, a goalkeeper, how good a silver he was. Shaq, are you concerned that you've got more pictures of yourself in the background than Frank has, considering he is supposed to be obviously Mr. Humble? Why have you got all pictures of you in these tuxedos everywhere? That's, that's just me every day, Dan. I wear a tuxedo on average oh, yeah? four times a week. That would suggest... I'm, I'm fancy. I'm really fancy himself. like that. that yeah. would suggest, no, there he is, sir. Yeah. No, that would suggest that he didn't put that together. What, why? Well, because Shaq's not... Are you saying this is not real, Steve? Shaq doesn't look the time he's going to splash himself. <laughs> There's somebody else. Maybe his son did it. Is <laughs> it Maybe you don't... Well, I guess he's trying to do the... Uh, I guess he's trying to do the... Uh, Top ten and all that. Right, so there, there, he is, there, there, there he is. There he is. I'm not so sure Shaq did that. Oh wow! Oh, oh. Shaq, <laughs> the Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Here. yeah. <laughs> uh, <Shaq's... laughs> I, I think Shaq has got a, a higher opinion of himself than we thought. Really? Yeah. Do you think that's it? Yeah. I mean, he has to. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> Having seen him in his heyday at West Ham. Oh yes. He yeah. has to. Did you ever uh, struggle at the start of a new season, Shaq? Well, you struggled most seasons, either physically or mentally. Did it get harder <laughs> yeah, to yeah. prepare mentally as you got older? Uh, I found the start, the middle, and the end of the season were particularly tough. It was <laughs> summers I was I was I was at my absolute as of my absolute Yeah, I bet best. you were, Shaq. Um, to to start a season, um, listen, I, I I think just in in general, it takes six six or eight games to really get up to speed. Anyway. I think that's par for the course, and and thankfully I, I've always had a good preseason. I I, I don't remember. I, I tell you, the 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 year that I broke my leg. I broke my leg in 2000, um, and and struggled because uh, you know I, I had a lot done to my left ankle, so it didn't my my preseason was pretty much about rehab, um, and even when I, I think I've told this story before. Our first game for the 2001-2002 season was away to Chelsea at Stamford, was at Stamford Bridge. And I, there were times that I'd be running and I'd, I'd, my ankle would just give out. I, I still wasn't, I was nowhere near, I was nowhere near where, where I should be. So I went into the gate, to that game kind of concerned about that. Um, and we lost, we lost four. It was for the, for the absolute finest. But I think the fact that I came back early, the fact that I didn't have a good preseason, I struggled that entire season, our 2001-2002 season. Um, other than that, I, 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 for every other every other year of my career, I had a good preseason and went into the season as as, as I'd hope. What about you? I'm going to guess most players have. When you go past your peak. Yes. You kind of lose half a yard or a yard. What was your peak? When were you at your absolute best? Um, probably, probably in the mid to late eighties. Okay. When you won the Player of the Year? Player of the Year was eighty nine. Yeah. yeah. Is that aye. when you were at your best? Your peak? I probably. Aye. But I think, I think when that little bit hits you, when you lose it, <clears throat> you kind of go through a stage, particularly in pre-season. See, pre-season, I always, you always dread it. But then once you start doing it, then you start getting competitive about it. Okay. So then it just takes over. Right. But then when you get a bit older and you've kind of lost a wee half a yard, I think there's, I'm going to say probably an 18 month for me where it's hard to accept that you can't do mm. things you used to do and you're not quite sure and you're, mentally it's really difficult. But then once you get past that, then 
you realise that you're not going to be able to do what you used to do. It just kind of falls into place and then you try and do the maximum you can and you set little goals. You know, try and make sure you beat this guy or you right. try and make sure you don't, you're not behind this guy. So, just a little spell of 18 month, which probably encompassed two pre-seasons, where there was a little bit, it was tough. But before that and after that, no, I figured it out. Did I enjoy pre-seasons? No, that's not the question. Uh, did I suffer in pre-season? Did I... I enjoy pre-seasons. I like the hard work. Did uh, you struggle at the start of a new season? Uh, on a couple of occasions, uh, I didn't like the heat. If, the, if it was boiling oh. hot, you know, yeah. you know what I'm like in heat. Well, you, I, I've seen you playing in the garden with my children yeah. and just the sweat. Yeah, I, I just... <laughs> I didn't, I, I, we, we were talking with somebody... It's <laughs> just unbelievable. Yeah. It's, it's like a like, roof. It's like a roof. Man, man, it? yeah. Like a roof with a water yeah, just the comes off. The of the head. Is just <laughs> yeah. Our manager at the time, Don Howe, shows how far uh, sports science is going. Like, don't drink any water before the game, you know, because you get stitch. So you were drinking cups of tea and things like that. <laughs> so players were going out so dehydrated. It's amazing, isn't That's it? That's what they used to say to you, wasn't it? Oh, don't you drink know, any water. Do you know what you used to say? <laughs> oh, you don't stop for a drink of water during the game, do you? Yeah. Wow, there you that are. Was, that was, you know, if it was like if we were in Spain yeah, or somewhere yeah. it was boiling, you'd be like, any chance of getting a drink? You'd be like, oh, we're going to stop the games now if it's all we can all have a drink. But what I did ask you, in the future they will. <laughs> get going. But, uh, but when I did look it up, uh, I don't know what was in my head, I think we, uh, Arsenal in the seven year, six years I was uh, in the team, I think we didn't win in any of those six years. My first two years at West Ham, we got beaten heavily on the opening day of because the season. Of you. Oh, because of you. No, obviously not because of me. <laughs> But just, we never had good games on the first day of the season for some reason. Wow. We won at Coventry. The first game of the Premier League season, when the Premier League started, I was playing for Coventry, and we beat Middlesbrough with... Um, Take that, Jan. Yeah, we beat Middlesbrough 1-0. With the, one of the old pundits that used to be on press pass all those years ago was playing Robbie Musto. Robbie Musto. Stevie and Robert, did you have any memorable run-ins when you played against one another? Do you remember playing against each other? I don't we remember play that many. No, early do early doors, you were at Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there was one game, I think the opening day of the season was a, a, a European You never won right. opening day uh, no, games. And we lost 2 0 at uh, Anfield. Uh, and all I can remember is I had a new role in the team, which was to make runs beyond the, the opposition. And I got in twice, and Bruce Grobelar made two magnificent saves. Ah, of course. So it's it's great, it was his great saves as opposed to your poor misses. Uh, on what this did, occasion, yes. Hey, what, did, what did the opposition. Because. Oh. People always ask me about Bruce. Right. And unfortunately for Bruce, he always gets the clown tag and mm. yes. all the other stuff. You don't play for Liverpool for 12, 13 years unless you're a good goal. You're a good he was a, in, in our view, he was a brilliant goalkeeper for probably five or six years. And then he started to become a bit more of the clown and he mm. started to make more errors. When he first came into Liverpool, he didn't make errors. And he was probably the first sweeper keeper, wasn't he? When balls were played over the top and suddenly he was out there. Well, where did he come from? Right. Well, you can see Bruce Grubler, Steve Nicholl and John Aldridge uh, at a special New Brighton. Tour. Yes. At New Brighton. Yeah. And look at that little link. Uh, next, uh, next month, tickets are very much available. Uh, that is it. That brings us to the end of today's show. Uh, ESPN FC will be back on your screens. Uh, you, Robbo's off tomorrow. I'm off. What? 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 <laughs> yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. 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 lovely. Yeah. There must be a mistake. This lovely. Yeah. You'll be off to Wembley. Right, Enjoy right. Wembley this weekend, Robbo. Have a great I'm gonna, Yeah, no, look. We'll go, little, uh, if, you want to come in, if you want to come in tomorrow, what, I can so stay at home if you're just around the corner. Are you on tomorrow as well, Stevie, again? Hi. No, is he boy, aren't you? I'm leaving yeah. the double tree at, at 2 o'clock tonight to get to two Boston. 2 in the morning? To get to what Boston. What's your flight? 7 o'clock. 2.30, I'm leaving. 2.30. Be careful, the tunnel's shut. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. Right, okay. There you are, a little bit of advice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that people need to hear. Uh, goodbye. Uh, voice of gloom. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.